Hey guys, it's Chris from Steeda, and today we're going to talk to you about all of the S550 Mustang engine offerings, 2015 all the way to present. If you're in the process of looking to buy an S550 Mustang and not sure which engine for you, this is the video you need to watch. Kicking it off is the 3.7 liter naturally aspirated V6 offered in 2015 to 2017 Mustangs. On the S550 platform, this particular engine had 300 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Carried over from the 11 to 14 body style, the 3.7 liter V6 lasted until 2017. Well, because it got replaced by the EcoBoost, which we'll talk about in a minute. The 3.7 liter was able to achieve about 28 miles per gallon on the highway, which ain't too shabby, especially for a base model Mustang. It's a great Mustang to start off with. It really takes well to the right aftermarket parts, a cold air intake, catback exhaust, a tune. All in all, the 3.7 liter V6 was a great base engine for the Mustang, which leads us to the next level up, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four. Now the EcoBoost started out with 310 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque, which is actually pretty similar to the V6 back in 2015. However, it really rocked the Mustang community because, well, a four-cylinder Mustang hadn't been seen since the 80s in the Fox body on the SVO. But the best part about the EcoBoost is that it's extremely receptible to mods. Well, because it's a turbo, all you have to do is turn up that boost and it's easy power. Obviously, you want to do that safely with the addition of an intercooler and a right downpipe and all that sort of stuff to help the engine breathe better but also stay cool. But the EcoBoost really takes well to a good tune and good cooling mods. Kind of like you're seeing now with Jamie behind the wheel of our Steeda Q350 EcoBoost out on the autocross track and at Sebring International Raceway. Now, with the right modifications, an EcoBoost could really beat up on a stock GT, even a GT with modifications like Jamie does time and time again out on the autocross track, carving corners, out braking, and sometimes out powering on corner exit thanks to that turbo spooling up super quick. And those stock GTs just can't keep up. And if your EcoBoost is stock, you really can't complain about 32 miles per gallon on the highway with an automatic transmission equipped model. Now new for 2020 is the high performance package EcoBoost, which bumps torque from 320 foot-pounds to 350 foot-pounds thanks to a couple of goodies from the Focus RS. Now the high-performance package EcoBoost is certainly no slouch. It comes with stickier tires and a bunch of other odds and ends that really help it perform quite a bit better on the autocross track. But if the high-performance package EcoBoost isn't enough for you, then meet the Coyote. The five-liter Coyote V8 is featured on GT Mustangs. Now the horsepower numbers have changed a bit over the years, but when it was introduced in 2015 on the S550, it came with 435 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Now, for 2018 on the Gen 3 Coyote, horsepower was bumped to 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. But if you're looking for more information on the Coyote and the history of it since its inception in 2011, then check out the video on our channel featuring the F-150 Coyote in comparison to the Mustang Coyote. Perhaps my favorite thing about the Coyote is how well that engine breathes, especially on the Gen 3. You add an intake, a tune with that twin independent variable cam timing, you're really able to dial in when that power is being made all the way up to 7,500, 7,700 RPM. You add in an intake manifold and it just keeps making power. The Coyote or Mustang GT is the perfect blank slate. It's the best combination of bang for buck and adding the right parts to really beat up on GT350s, those Camaros, and anything else that comes across your way. You're looking to show them some taillights. Now, if adding parts isn't your thing, then maybe the Bullet or the upcoming Mach 1 is. It also features the five liter Coyote. However, it borrows the throttle body, intake manifold, and intake from the Shelby GT350, bumping power up to 480 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. Now, the 2019 and 2020 Mustang Bullet only came with a manual transmission, staying true to the essence of the original Bullet movie. However, with the upcoming Mach 1, we're very excited to see, with the slightly upgraded 10R80 10-speed automatic transmission, what that car will do with 480 horsepower down the quarter mile. Now, if you're still interested in the Mach 1, but the 10-speed automatic isn't your thing, then fret not, because you'll be getting the Tremec TR3160 six-speed manual out of the outgoing Shelby GT350. Now let me tell you, this is an extremely welcome addition to the Mustang GT lineup. It features an incredibly direct engagement, and on top of that, you don't have to deal with the remote mount shifter that you get with the MT82 on the regular Mustang GTs. Now speaking of the Tremec, that leads us to the Shelby GT350. Now the 
350 from 2015 to 2020 model years featured the 5.2 liter flat plane crank V8, which pumped out 526 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. What makes this engine so special is the flat plane crank. It enables the engine to rev all the way up to 8,250 RPM, which is insane for an engine of that displacement. Now here at Steeda, we've been fortunate enough to have a ton of seat time behind the regular GT350 and the GT350R, and I can't tell you enough how much of a pleasure it is to drive, whether it's on the street or autocross or on the track, it feels awesome. And it's just a testament to what the Ford Performance engineers were able to do with the S550 platform all the way back in 2014, 2015, as they were developing that car to release in 2015. But if somehow 526 horsepower of 8,250 RPMs of awesomeness isn't enough for you, then meet the Shelby GT500. The GT500 features a 5.2 liter cross-plane crank with 760 horsepower and 625 pound-feet of torque. Nicknamed the Predator, the 5.2 liter cross-plane crank in the GT500 features a 2.65 liter Eaton supercharger sitting on top of that engine, which allows it to make all of that horsepower. Now, if fuel economy is your thing, the GT500 definitely doesn't excel in that field considering it only gets 18 miles per gallon on the highway. So you may want to pick up an EcoBoost or a V6 if gas mileage is your priority. But like the majority of the Mustang community, we don't care about gas mileage. We care about horsepower, which the GT500 has gobs of. We've also had the privilege of having a carbon fiber track pack GT500 here at our Valdosta location at Steeda, and I can't tell you enough, this car hauls. The dual clutch transmission in the GT500 is absolutely seamless. It knows what gear you need to be in before you even go to make that gear change. Now, if you're in drive or manual, regardless, the paddle shifters are super quick, and if you're out on autocross or take it out on course, you can't go wrong. This car hauls whether it's in the turn or in the straight. With that much horsepower pumping out of that 5.2 liter supercharged engine, you're really gonna need to be easy on the throttle, especially on corner exit. Now, in comparison to the GT350, I can't believe I'm saying this, but only 526 horsepower, you really can get on that throttle a lot quicker coming out of the corners. But in the GT500, as we kind of learned in autocross, you really gotta be careful with that gas pedal as there is a ton of power at your beck and call. That concludes the entire S550 Mustang engine lineup since 2015. Now here at Steeda, we are big fans of the S550, all the way up to present, and we're excited to see what's to come for the S550 here in the next couple years, and then the S650 after that. But we gotta ask, which engine is your favorite? You like the V6, the EcoBoost, the GT, the GT350, the 500? Which one would you prefer in your Mustang? Now, if you like the content of this video, go ahead and slap that subscribe button. And if you're looking for your next modification for your Mustang, then be sure to hit us up at steeda.com. And don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.